Alright guys, so hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do something just a little bit different. Uh, we got the wife's vehicle here, and you know what, I want to take my wife's Lexus, 2004 Lexus RX key, uh, and convert it to a flip style key. Uh, this is We are going to be using the X-Horse Super Chips, so uh, we'll walk you through the process and everything and what is a Super Chip and everything as far as that, so stay tuned. So essentially what a Super Chip is in this application is that it can take, this chip can be used on a variety of different kinds of vehicles. It can be used on a Toyota, a Lexus, um, Ford, General Motors, I mean, it, it, and the list goes on. So pretty much it, you know, you take this key, put it in here, and you tell it that you want it to work into a Ford, you want it to work in a Nissan, uh, and what it does is it makes it so you don't have to stock the OEM keys. Uh, this isn't the most ideal situation because what we are going to be doing, we are going to be cloning, cloning the um, the transponder information in here, and we are going to be putting it into the the new uh, flip key. I am not a huge fan of cloning keys, but this is my wife's vehicle, and you know what? It is. That's just how it's going to be. Um, there are some drawbacks to cloning. Uh, and that's that can be for another video or if you guys want me to go into that into another video We can go into that, but essentially, you know, we are gonna make this style fob Work on a 2004 Lexus and convert it into a flip key so Just for example, you know, so here is the OEM key and this is I, I think it this was like a $75 key uh, compared to we have this one over here, which is a flip style key. I think this one was like a $25 key. Uh, and I could be wrong on the prices, but this is obviously through uh, locksmith companies and everything else. So it's going to be different if you're an individual buying a key or anything else. Uh, some locksmiths won't do this. I am not considered a locksmith by any means. Um, that's not what this is about. But I did want to provide some, some keys for some situations since I do module programming. And if anybody does any kind of... Uh, Ford module replacements or anything, you know, there are some modules that you need two keys and that being said this saves me a trip uh, Going out a couple times uh, as far as the customer providing pr Providing the key or having to get a key made from a locksmith or from a dealer in order to get some modules programmed so um, and again, that's you don't want cloned keys if you're doing module replacements, but you know you kind of get the gist. Uh, so that's why I picked up the key cutting machine, uh, and you know to be able to provide a little bit more services uh, to to my business. So let's get into this. All right, guys. So just to show you a little bit, kind of what is a super chip? This is the transponder chip that is found inside your vehicle's keys in order to start the vehicle as far as the security chip so it's the transponder chip this is a super chip and uh these here the super chip uh, remotes uh, this is a wireless uh, super chip remote so which means that this transponder chip is actually soldered to the circuit board inside that that key fob uh, you can use these style here with like some key shells like these here um, and then the transponder actually gets put into put get put into the head of the key so yeah like I said there's there's good and bad of you know these universal or these super chips and stuff uh, and that's not anything we're gonna get into right now but you know let's get into cutting first thing we're gonna want to do is read this key cutting, put this into the key machine, it will read this, decode the key, and then we will we will cut this key, which will essentially get put into get put into this remote over here. So let's get it uh, set up onto the key machine. So what we are going to want to do right here, 
We are going to go to vehicle database. We're going to go down to Lexus. Lexus RX. And we are looking for Lexus 330, which is right here. So it's a you can see it's a Toyota 48 blade. Tells you a little bit about the bidding. The clamp is going to be an M2 clamp um, with the A adapter. So M2, we have the A right there. Okay, so that is set up. So let's get into that. You can hear it beep right now. It did this connected to the key cutting machine. So it tells you how to kind of set this up and make sure it's flat. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put this key in there. It's gonna decode this key and then we'll go from there. So let's get, get it set up. says decode key success that's a good thing all right so now that it has read that key what we are gonna do next is actually cut a blank key which this is this is um, a key blank it's a like a testing key you can see it's got the little head on it uh, no transponder chips or anything pretty much you cut this and make sure that it works in the doors and in the ignition. This is something I already did cut it just to verify. So let's go over here and see if it works. So we have the door. Okay, it's good. Let's come in the ignition. And just so you guys can see, oh, turn that off. Um, now, if I shoot, turn the climate off. All right, so now if I try starting this because there's no transponder chip or it's not programmed to the vehicle, this is just a key blank. Let's see here. Let's see, won't start. So this is just a testing key, and they it works in the door and it works in the ignition. So since we did that testing key and the key does uh, work in the door and it does work in the ignition, uh, I'm going to say we are good to go as far as cutting the key that's actually going to go inside the, the flip key. So uh, let's get that set up and let's get it, let's get it cut. As you can see, it cut the key on that side. So now we're gonna have to flip it over and cut this side. So let's get it set up. the other side so let's go verify this key works in the ignition and the door I'm able to turn it not very good I need some pliers
than that made just because I don't have a, a good grip on this little tiny head. So the next thing we're going to want to do is use the Key Tool Max, which is this tool right here. Use this tool and tell this fob that we want to use it in a Lexus vehicle. So let's go ahead and get that set up. Let's go to Remote Cloud Recognition and we're going to press Start, press the lock button, press the lock button again. successfully matched. This is Alexis. And now pick in the right one out of here. Let's see. We have that so we want to go down to generate remote. Put the remote up in here. So pretty much what it's saying is uh, generate a copy VVDI uh, super remote will clear the transponder information inside. You will need to generate or copy transponder information or copy transponder after generate remote. Okay, so that's why. So if we would have programmed the transponder in here to the vehicle, us doing this right here, uh, trying to make this work on a Lexus as far as for the remote entry it would clear that information. So this is the step that we need to do first before cloning the immobilizer information. So we are going to press OK. Put the key in. Burn success. OK. So what we did right now was told this fob that we want to use it in Alexis. So now we need to go and actually program, put it in programming mode on the Lexus in order to get these remotes to program. Alright, so this is going to be hard for you guys to see. Uh, just kind of go over this a little bit with you. Um, but for the remote programming, we are going to begin with the key out of the ignition, open and un unlock the driver's side door. Close all doors, including the trunk. Within five seconds, insert the key into the ignition and pull it out twice. Close, then open the driver's side door twice. Insert the key into the ignition, then remove it. Close, then open the driver's side door twice. Insert the key into the ignition and leave it in the ignition. Close the driver's side door. Switch the ignition to on, then off. Remove the key from the ignition. The doors. The door locks will cycle to confirm the vehicle was successfully entered into programming mode. Push and hold the lock and unlock button for 1.5 seconds on the remote beginning or remote being programmed. As soon as you let go, push the lock button and hold it for another 2 seconds. The door locks will cycle to confirm successful programming of the remote. If you have any additional remotes, to program, repeat step 12. If you have no additional remotes, proceed to 14. Open the open the driver's side door. Programming is now complete. So yeah, this is a whole process, um, which it's not that bad, but you need to you you may have to do this a couple times in order to get the procedure correct to get it into the programming mode. Uh, and that's just one thing on these older vehicles. That's just how it is especially on, well, at least on Toyota and, and Lexus and stuff. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do this, see if I can get it on the first try. All right, so obviously the battery died when I was going through the programming mode, uh, but I just want to show you guys. So right now we will unlock, lock, unlock again. Let's try the back gate. Now, if we press and hold the lock, up. Oh, I think somebody's upset. What are you yelling at? 
What are you yelling at, Bella? Hey, Bella. What are you yelling at? All right. So that is that part of it is done um, for the remote keyless entry. Okay. Now we have to program. Hey, where are you going? Get over here. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to install that blade onto this flip key, uh, and then we'll go from there. So let's get that let's get that going. So this will go in like this, and then she'll have a flip key. So there's a pin inside there that needs to be installed so the blade doesn't fall out. And as you can see, as you can see there's a there's a notch on one side of the key. So we need to make sure that that notch goes the right direction. Okay? So let's get that set up. Alright, so I got the pin inside the, the pliers here. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Shit. Hey, <laughs> this is gonna be easier said than done. Damn it! And this is probably a horrible view for you guys. I do apologize. So we got that pin installed. All right. Okay. Pretty sweet. Okay, so the next step. So right now we have the keyless entry programmed to the vehicle, okay? But the immobilizer chip, the transponder chip inside here, is not programmed. So what that means is, if we come over here, so if we come over here and we try to start it, see, nothing. So as we just tested, this still will not, this key still will not start the vehicle. So what we are going to do now is it's called cloning and we are going to take the immobilizer transponder information off of this key and we are going to copy it and we are going to put it on this key. So essentially what cloning is, is pretty much the vehicle is not going to be able to tell the difference between these two keys. So it's only going to be registered as one key not two keys because it's a clone it's exactly what it says so cloning is is obviously like I was saying is not the preferred way especially if you're doing any kind of module replacements or anything because it's the vehicle only registers it registers the key as just being one key even though you have two physical keys in your hand but in this case you know being the wife's car I'm not worried about that and okay so let's go in and we're gonna want to go to transponder clone okay put the transponder into the coil to to detect as the picture above
Gonna hit read. I'm not sure how that glare is showing up. So it's saying it's a transponder 4D68. Uh, it's a Toyota. It's given the ID number. It's telling you if it's clonable or not. So it is clonable, which is what we are going to want to do. Okay, so we are going to take this out. And we are going to want to go to clone. Okay, so... Okay, so what's it saying here? It says, maybe I should read the directions. Put original key into Key Tool Max coil to recognize. Okay, so put original into Key Tool Max. Ah, need three hands. Put original key into key tool max coil to recognize. Put original key into key tool max to coil to calculate. Query the calculated results from the server. Transponder clone. Okay, so start clone. It's calculating. It says put the super chip in. I may have just mess this up. Okay, so it says successfully copy. Alright, so now let's go see if this key will start the vehicle. Alright, so moment of truth. Let's see. She's a runner. Feels good. No sticking. Let's try the other way. All right. Sweet. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. If you like this material, you want some more stuff like this, let me know. Uh, I really thought me going out on my own that I would have a lot more time to be able to produce some uh, YouTube material for you guys. And honestly, that just is not the case. I have been slammed with work, uh, which is obviously a good problem to have. Um, but it means that, you know, I'm not putting out the, the videos that I was hoping that I would. Um, but maybe that will change in the future. Uh, I guess only time will tell. In the meantime, how about you go down there, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, have some fun, and car just locked on its own. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, and hope everybody has, has a good summer. Talk to you later. Bye.